Shannon, what do you think is the biggest reason the Celtics lost? Well, they went cold, but they started turning the ball over. Skip, in the first, in the first half, they only had five turnovers. They finished the game with 15, so what does that tell you? In the second half, they had 10 turnovers, and they started turning the ball over. If I'm not mistaken, I think Jason Tatum had, like, three straight possessions in which he turned the ball over. And uh, JT, his partner in, in the uh, law firm, said, well, hold on, bro. I can't let you do all have all these turnovers by yourself. Let me join in. He and did. he started to turn the ball over. Even and more. <laughs> even yeah. more. Skip, I, I'm, maybe, maybe I, I, think, I think I'm right because I didn't have the – did Boston call a timeout in the third quarter? The Heat scored 46 points. How in the hell you let a team score 46 points and you don't call one timeout? He, hell, how do you? He did call one. Uh, I'll, I used I'll, all my timeouts. I'll, I'll show it to Skip you. Skip, burn out of timeout, timeout, timeout. Timeout is like, coach, you're going to burn them out. I don't care because this is getting out of hand. Yep. It ain't going to be no fourth quarter. No. Skip, I was, I, was, I was watching the game. The Celtics were up by 12 points. Mm. I said, well, you know, hey, I'll come back. <laughs> I said, I'm going to come back. I'll come back and watch this thing in a minute. Yep. Took the dogs out. Let yep. them do what they needed to do. Yep. Skip, I came back in. They down 11. I'm like, what? I said, this this got to be wrong. I said, maybe my... So I went downstairs and cut the TV on downstairs. So maybe something glitched on the upstairs television. Skip, what? I had to go back and rewatch it. Like, I had to go rewatch the... I'm like, Boston. You, you, you realize the Heat scored the most points they've ever scored in a playoff quarter. In a playoff quarter, they scored 46 points at Boston. And when you talk about and, and, and you talk about the playoff, you had a, a LeBron James in the prime, you had yes. a D Wade, you had yep. a Chris Bosh, you did. and you they had never all scored the 40. You did. You had D Wade at his greatest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, right. Skip, Miami had 18 or 26 field mm -hmm. goals, and so ain't nobody gonna play no defense. Ain't nobody say, you know, hey, hey guys, let's just pinch them, <sighs> triple, do something. <laughs> Skip, that was that's embarrassing. I'd say that the Celtics have allowed this to happen mm -hmm. two years in a row. They've allowed this to happen in back-to-back -back series in which they open at home with a loss because you refuse to play defense. It's like the shot starts going in, Skip, and then they don't play any defense. And the next thing you know, you go cold. It's hard to pick up your defense intensity when you haven't played it the entire day. Yep. That's. I, and so now I'm looking. I'm looking at the uh, 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 the second, the second, uh, uh, the fourth quarter. And I'm like, I, do y'all do y'all practice? I mean, the shoot around. What y'all talk about? Because in the first half, they had 15 assists and five turnovers. The second half, they had seven assists and 10 turnovers. There you go. Go right there. And then you know, once Jimmy get it going, you can't turn that off. Mm -hmm. Once he gets going, I don't care who your defenders. It could be Marcus Smart. It could be Jalen Brown. It could be Jason Tatum. It, it could be Derek White. It does not matter. Once you let him get it going, and you see it, it's giving, he all, he, he's going to have one of them in a game where the shot clock's running down, and he's going to hit it, and he's going to look at his bench and, I got to I told y'all not to worry about this. I got this. Yep. Skip, this is, this is embarrassing for the Celtics. Y'all, they, they need to be. Coach, Coach Mazzula, I mean, hey, mm. you better get him playing a little defense, or just a little. I ain't say you got. I ain't say you got to be bad boy Pistons, but you got to play some defense. Yeah. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna preface this by saying, I think Jason Tatum is a great kid. I think he is a, as great a face for a franchise in this league as you could ask for, because his post game interviews, especially after they win, are just sensational. They're so from the heart. He's so open and willing. I'm trying to preface this so Nelly doesn't text me in the break and say, <laughs> leave my kid alone, because they're both from St. Louis, yep. obviously. But you have elevated him to the highest pedestal. He made first team all in BA. Back to back year. You have proclaimed him a superstar. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying, I'm trying, but I can't get there. Because especially through the playoffs, it is a wild roller coaster ride of great game. Sorry game. Mm -hmm. Great game. Huh? Great game. W what? Where did you go? What happened to you? In the fourth quarter last night, the best player on what many consider the best team, a prohibitive favorite, a, a, a runaway landslide favorite over the eight-seed Miami Heat, the best player on the Celtics, one of the best in the league, top five, first team All-NBA, he did not take a shot in the fourth quarter. He didn't take a shot. 
Should I blame him for that? Should I blame Marcus Smart, the point guard, for that? Should I blame Joe Mazzulla, the coach, for that? Or maybe all three should split the, the blame equally? But, Skip, this been, I think, was his fifth or sixth game in which that has happened. Okay, I don't get it. He's almost like a Kevin Durant-like figure where we see all the talent. We see explosive. We saw game seven against Philly. We saw the very end of game six at Philly. Mm -hmm. We see him explode. Shannon. He is so long, his arms are so long at 6'8", that when he extends to the basket, it's almost like his arms can extend another extra foot, like, like they're, they're elongated arms. Right. I've never seen anything quite like it. But he can go as cold as anybody in the league. Mm -hmm. And what happened in the playoffs last year? He led the whole playoffs with 100 turnovers. Seemed like he had cleaned up some of his act this year in these playoffs until the home stretch last night. So he's not only is he not taking a shot in the fourth quarter, but you brought it up. Under three minutes left, he, he has three turnovers. One, and then he had two under two minutes left. Okay, again, the, the first time you're down five and you have a chance to cut it to two or three. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the next time you're down seven, next time you're down seven. But it just felt like you're on the verge, you're on the verge, and then your best player did that and that and then that? Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. And Jimmy Butler, to your point, listen, again, Miami scored 46 in the third. Shannon, they scored a grand total of 20 points in the fourth, so they were sort of asking for it. Mm -hmm. But they, the, the beauty was they went into the fourth with a 12-point lead. So they're trying to just sort of nurse the, the game home, which Jimmy is very good at doing, just with the game on a string. But the point was then Jimmy comes down and you did the wink shot. Well, you want to talk about psychologically demoralizing? It's just like, wait a second. I'm pretty sure Derek White, because it air balls. Didn't right. get a piece of it. Yes. He, he didn't get credited right. with the block. But it looks like he blocks the shot. Right. Jimmy has gets the ball back. But, but he, he is so aware that it's like, oh, well, he got me, but I'm going to go get the basketball. And then I'm going to create a whole new play on the far side mm -hmm. of the floor. Shannon, he is playing extremely athletic chess with, with the other team mm -hmm. because he is, listen, this is a, a beautifully explosive athlete at six feet, seven inches tall. Right. He plays so strong to me, but he plays so shrewdly. He is so crafty. He, he is on a, you're reading your stats. Yeah. You, you're, you, you want to say something? No, no, no. I'm, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. I'm just listening. Right. I'm, I'm following okay. up on you. Go ahead. All right. So the, the point is that when, when, when Joe Missoula feels like it's slipping away, he finally did call a timeout off another Jimmy Butler play, which I think we're going to see. Well, he, he got the, to he score got 30. In. I know, but he got that, that tip, you know, yeah. he tipped it back in. Yeah. You just said Jimmy got his shot blocked, he got it back, he, he created a new play, went to the far corner and hit a three. He just saw this, I forced a missed shot, and guess what? Jimmy beat three guys to the basketball, tip it in, and get an and one. So that ain't coaching. No. That's hustle. Yeah, I got it. But... I did first guess this. I said, there's no way they will have quite the defensive edge under Joe Mazzulla that they did under Ime Odoka, who is defense first. Right. He's a tough guy. He's a big guy. He played the game at a high level. He's kind of like Hachimura. He's right. kind of that size right. guy. He was a pretty good NBA player, maybe right. not as good as Hachimura, but, right. but decent. Right. And my point is, he commanded respect right. on the defensive right. end. And what they did to Kevin Durant, it, it, they tore Kevin Durant apart right. and rewrote the book on right. how to attack him in playoff games, Skip, right? It's, it's kind of hard. When you start having guys have success, it's kind of hard. If guys had not had success, they'll buy in. Jason Tatum was a first-team All-NBA player next last year. Yep. So what did that come with? All of a sudden, we started talking about him in a superstar. So guess what? The further, the more you talk about it, like, and he didn't get that recognition by playing defense. No. Nope. Jalen Brown. We started saying Jalen Brown has closed the cap gap on Jason Tatum. Yep. Offensively. So you it, it's hard, Skip, to get these guys to sum it up. Yep. Because you're not gonna get a max contract because you play defense unless you're Rudy Gobert. And we know how terrible of a contract that is. And so what you're doing is you see guys start focusing on offense, offense, offense. Okay. The defense starts okay. to slip just a little. But Joe is offense, offense, offense. Yes. That's his signature. That's what his focus is. And plus he came in, now he's the head coach now. He came in as a substitute. Skip, he was the, just the Philly, and we didn't know if he was going to get the job or yep. they were going to hire a new teacher. Yep. So he had to be like, okay, I'm going to let y'all do y'all thing so yep. I, I want y'all to like me. Yep. They've had some success, but you're absolutely right. Yep. They stop they stop focusing on that end, and it's hard to, to, to tell a team or a guy, yep. 
Man, bro, you need to get broken down on defense. Yep. When he just dropped 51 in the game seven, which is an NBA record for a playoff game seven. He did. Yep. Okay. And last night he kept reaching for Peyton Pritchard, and it surprised me because Grant Williams has become he, he's DNP coach's decision. Yeah. He's way in the doghouse. Yeah. And he was instrumental in their run to the finals and last he was. Right? He okay. was. Yeah. Okay. Is is the team gonna love that? Because I think he's fairly like yeah, the love, I, I, right? think, I think so too. Malcolm Brobby, they, they got they got 30 t points off the bench. But Skip, when you think about it, Max Cruz, 15 points. Gabe Vincent, 15 points. Caleb Martin, 15 points. Kyle Lowry, 15 points. Okay. Jimmy Butler. I you, mean, you, you just gave the recipe for victory. Yes! That, that's how you do that. Okay. And who orchestrates all that? Who gets them the basketball? Jimmy Butler. Yeah. He plays point guard. He plays shooting guard. He plays mm -hmm. small forward. Right. right? He, in fact, he plays power forward half the time. Yes. Okay. So, so he does it all. For and them. you get you get to, you know get Bam t uh, chipping in with a, a twenty. Yeah. They they let they let a, a, a My, uh, Miami shoot fifty four from. Skip, you should let a team shoot fifty four percent from the floor and fifty two percent from the three. You're, what do you think is gonna happen? You're gonna lose. So Shannon, bigger picture, this team is now four and four at home in yeah. these playoffs. Bigger picture, if you go back five years, they're 16 and 18 at home in the playoffs. Right. 16 and 18? Right. The, the hallowed Boston Celtics? You, you used to never win hey. in the garden. Hey, you just couldn't win. <laughs> you I couldn't mean, win. Had, yeah, that was a long. They had a leprechaun on their Yeah, shoulder, man, right? yeah. You, got, you, got, you played the garden like, okay. Okay. So Jason Tatum, as you, you sort of get revealed over time, and remember, he's finishing his seventh year. He's only 25, but he's been yes, around. Yeah. So, so you... You can't cut him too much slack no, no, about no, no, he's no, just no, figuring no, it out. No, 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 well, no, seven no, no, years yeah, is, is yeah, a lot of basketball. Yeah. He's he's starting to show himself as more Durant-esque, Kevin Durant-esque, because Kevin is more follower than leader. I'm not saying Jason's a follower, but I don't know if he's a dynamic leader. They don't seem to follow him in the fourth quarter. He doesn't have Jimmy Butler in him, where he just says, give me the ball and get out of the yeah. way, and I'm going to take you guys yeah. home. It right? seems like uh, smart. Is probably more of the leader or Al yeah. Horford because yeah. of seniority. Yeah. But it seems like Smart is the one that calls him together and tries to calm everything down. And when he sees the guys arguing with calls, he's like, hey, let it go. It's okay. Yeah. Let it go. Well, listen, at some point, Jason has to become more consistent because they're too good for the they were they were eight point favorites last night. They're nine and a half point favorites in game two because the Ozmakers are saying, well, surely they'll come out mad in the second game and just blow them off the floor. <laughs> and they should, because they're way better. I, I just, I, I, I thought, that's what I thought too, Skip. I was thinking the same. I was like, oh, yeah, they got this. I see, now they're playing like they're supposed to. I see they run out there with a five, and the next thing you know, you run off and they're up 10, 12. Yep. I'm like, oh, yeah, now you're playing like you're supposed to play. And then yep. I come back, I thought my TV had glitched. <sighs> wow, what a third <laughs> It was, well, it was terrible. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.